So first of all, let's talk about the filming process. I mean, I, I want to say the filming was, it's got to be a huge risk in the it location. Was insane. Yeah, we actually didn't get insured until we left the Amazon because they insure you're supposed to have insurance and all that stuff, and they kept saying, "Oh yeah, your check got lost in the mail," and we'd like refax them the credit card. They're like, "Ah, oh, the fax didn't come through." And we realized that they were waiting to see if we actually survived. We took a film crew farther than anyone has ever shot a narrative feature before. We had a crew from Peru, Chile, Spain, and like a couple of Americans, but mostly South American crew. We went into the Amazon. It was crazy. It was five hours of traveling every day to this village. They were so remote. They'd never seen cameras before. There's no electricity. We had to conceptually explain to this village, for most of the villagers, what a movie was. They had no idea. They'd never seen a television before. In fact, they'd never had cold drinks. We brought like containers with the cold drinks. They saw the ice. We realized this, they were looking at ice for the first time. So it was that level. And they, by the way, they were amazing. They loved it. And they totally got what we were doing. Even though they'd never seen television, they tell stories. And they understood that we were just telling a story. But we brought a DVD player, a generator, and we showed the entire village a movie. And the movie we showed them was Cannibal Holocaust. And they luckily thought it was a comedy. I wasn't there for this. I, they told me that. I was like, oh, did you show them Wizard of Oz? They're like, no, Cannibal Holocaust. But they wanted the village to see the worst case scenario. Also to kind of get an idea of what we were going to do, because if they had a problem, better to know now than, you know, we don't want to show them Frozen or Finding Nemo, and then we show up and we're like slicing people's heads off. But they loved it. The kids were playing soccer with a head. It was unbelievable. <laughs> and how did, you, how did you go about like picking the extras and all of that? Like It was interesting. I, the way we found this village was I went with my Spanish producer and my Peruvian producer and we got in a boat and just went up the Amazon until I saw like a straw hut and I was like, what is that? They're like, oh, it's una pueblo. It's a village. And so we pulled up and there's a little girl who's washing clothes in the river. She, we wound up casting her in the movie. She's like the girl with the flute that like, you know, is trying to help Lorenza Izzo escape. Um, the way we did the casting was, if imagine when you take an Instagram photo, how everyone like does this moment, that's because we know what we look like. Now for people that have never seen a camera, there's zero awareness of what they look like on camera. So you can put a camera here, a camera there. So it really was about listening. So about three weeks leading up to the movie, we had a video camera in the village and we played games with the children. Okay, who can be sad? Who could be happy? Who can run? And you could really kind of weed out which kids were into it and which kids could pay attention and had real focus. And they were amazing. These kids are some of the best actors I ever worked with. They could do emotion, they could look you in the eye, and the kids all got into it. They all wanted to yell, Axion, cut! And they all did the clapboard. It was so much fun. The villagers were some of the best actors I ever worked with. And let's talk about more about the, the cast. Lorenza, like, um, Lorenza is a, you, yeah. you, she's also going to be in your movie, Knock Knock. Knock yeah. What is about her that makes you want to work with her again? Lorenza Izzo is a first a natural beauty and an amazing, amazing actress. You know, her first language is Spanish. You know, she's Latina, and I'd seen her in the Spanish language comedy, Que Pena Tu Boda, which translates to Fuck My Wedding. It's on Netflix. My friend Nicolas Lopez directed it. And then I met her, and her English was perfect. She spoke like an American because she had lived in Georgia during her high school years and learned Amer she learned English with no accent. So she can really play both. And she's Chilean, but she's a mixed European background. She can really... Um, you know, kind of blend playing the, the innocent gringo, but she, Lorenza has these beautiful, big, expressive eyes, and she, she's so good at playing the innocent and getting caught up, but she's, uh, she's tough, she's a warrior, and it's about this girl who goes through this journey of being this kind of sheltered person in New York City to getting caught up in the jungle who learns to survive and ultimately becomes this warrior. Uh, you know, Lorenza jumped in the river for me, and I'll never forget that. You know, we're filming on the Amazon, and there's a scene where she goes in the river, and she's screaming for her life, and she really almost drowned. And that's what Lorenza's like. She's like, I gotta go in, I'll just dive into the river. And you need actors like that. You know, I've, I've never met anyone who as vulnerable, as beautiful, and as tough as she is. And that's why I wrote Knock Knock for her.